in an eight on your side medical alert, we have new information about breast implants. The FDA now says there's one particular kind of implant that could lead to a rare blood cancer. That cancer is a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma called ALCL, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. So far, at least nine people have died. Jen Holloway joins us now live in Tampa with details on which implants we're talking about, plus what a woman should do if she has these. Well, Jen, the whole problem apparently is stemming around the older form of breast implants, not the newer forms that plastic surgeons are using these days. The choice to enhance your chest is made by millions of women around the world, although some have a few regrets. Had I known that prior to, I probably wouldn't have gotten them done to begin with, but... Yeah, I just guess I'm fortunate that I haven't had any issues. The FDA has received nearly 360 reports of the cancer in women with both saline and silicone breast implants. According to the FDA, textured implants are the ones leading to the disease. The textured surface actually feels rough when you touch it. In the old days, it was used to help prevent capsule contractures. Plastic surgeon Dan Diaco says it is a rare but reoccurring issue. It's been reported 173 times throughout the world. But there's also been 10 million women with implants around the world. So it's very, very rare. Dr. Diaco's advice? Well, if she's not having any problems, she should probably not worry. If you are concerned or have a capsular contracture where the breast is hard or tight, or have swelling around the breast, they should see the plastic surgeon immediately. Dr. Diaco says at that point, an ultrasound would be performed to determine if there is any fluid around the implant. So for anyone considering the surgery, Melissa Cueto says, keep in mind, it is your personal choice. Cosmetic-wise, just pressure from the way people are, sub quote, supposed to look right. after children. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, about 290,000 people went through that surgery last year. However, that report does not indicate what types of implants were used. It does not track that information. In the meantime, doctors say this rare cancer can be treated. First of all, they take out the implant, and then the patient will go through chemotherapy or radiation. Jen? Important information for women out there. Jen Holloway, live in Tampa. Thank you.